I want you to imagine that you go to the doctor and you have a sore knee and the doctor says you will do a blood test. What would you think? Or you go to the doctor and say I've got a pain in my tummy and the doctor says we do an x-ray. What would you think? Or you go to the doctor and you say that um, I've cut myself in the arm and they say we'll do an MRI. What would you think? The point I want to make here is that when you go to the doctor, you expect him to have a range of tools and techniques and processes and systems that he can apply depending on what the issue is that you're trying to address. So in the case of the damaged knee, you expect him to examine you and then you expect him to do an x-ray and maybe an MRI. In the case of the pain in your stomach, you would expect him to do something else. The exact same is true in the area of human performance improvement. You require different sciences to do different things. One. Two, I want you to imagine the doctor that he does a number of tests on you. You would like him then to put them up on the wall and say, ah, yes, the x-ray is saying this and the blood test is saying that and the MRI is saying the other. And do a work and say, based on all of those, here's my evaluation of what the issue is and what we need to do. The exact same applies again to the area of human performance improvement. You want a range of sciences that give you different information to give you, help you identify the whole person so you can identify what the particular issues are and what you need to do to address them. The most effective people are the people with the best understanding because once they understand themselves across a range of, of different tools, if you wish, or different assessments, they can then develop themselves in the most meaningful way. So why do we have a range of sciences? We have a range of sciences because that is the only way that you can actually address the issues of human performance improvement.